I almost got blown off the road in my motorhome. In this video, I'll share how to keep yourself safe during windy weather. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. I'm a full-time RVer. I've been on the road almost five years and I travel in a 38-foot Class A motorhome. And it's basically a billboard going down the road as so many campers are. Well, the other day I was driving in the Columbia River Gorge. I was leaving Oregon, heading to Washington, and a huge wind came and hit the side of the motorhome and I very nearly hit the guardrail. Luckily, I was prepared. Know that high winds are the enemy when driving big rigs or even towing a smaller camper. Winds can push your camper into another lane or it can collide with another vehicle. And you have probably seen photos where wind has actually knocked a camper or motorhome onto its side. Let me share some of the steps that I take before I even begin my travel day. Where I was was Mount Hood, Oregon, and I was headed to Pasco, Washington. There was no wind where I was and no wind where I was going. This is why it's so important to know what the weather's going to be on the way. I use an app called Weather on the Way and you plug in your destination and it will show you the weather all along the route. What is so cool about that is you can adjust the time. So what I learned was there is a huge windy section along the Columbia River Gorge particularly an area called the Dalles. But by changing the departure time on the app, I was able to avoid the worst of the wind. Did you know that wind anywhere, everywhere, actually is worse in the afternoon. You can study up on that. It has to do with sun and heat and that kind of thing. But just know that if you leave earlier, you'll most likely avoid the wind unless it's storm related. By using the app, you can see that maybe you shouldn't travel that day at all if a storm is coming, or you can even change your route just so that you can avoid the storm or avoid the heavy winds. I love this app because it really helps me be prepared. If you're interested in weather on the way, don't pay full price. I can get you 10% off. When you sign up for the free seven day trial, just enter the code Liz10 and you'll save 10%. The next tip is to slow down. This gives you more control and more time to react. The faster you go, the more likely the wind is going to knock you off course. It's so important to have situational awareness. While you're driving, pay attention for signs of wind. Maybe the big truck in front of you is being tossed about by the wind. Are there flags that are blowing fiercely in the wind? What about bushes and trees? Notice them. Now, if there are no bushes and trees, if it's totally open, that can be a sign that this is such a windy area that no trees can grow. Also look for wind turbines. That's definitely a sign that you are in a windy area. Be especially aware during curves. When you change direction, you may not be aware that the wind is behind you and now suddenly it may slam against you. Same thing with bridges and tunnels and when you come over a hill. Watch your side mirrors and be ready when a large truck starts to pass you. Initially, it could push you out of the lane, but as the wind creates a vacuum, it could actually start to pull you towards the truck. About a month ago, a truck passed me. It was a windy day and that truck passing created a vacuum and it actually opened my awning. So that was a little scary. The number one thing that I did to keep myself safe going down the road is getting a steering stabilizer. So right after I bought this motorhome back in October of 2022, I'm driving on the interstate. Fortunately, there was nobody around. I've got both hands on the steering wheel and I decided to get a sip of water. So I take my hand off the steering wheel, grab my water bottle, and then look, oh my gosh, suddenly I'm in another lane. That's why I knew I needed to get a safety steer. What a steering stabilizer does is exactly what it sounds. It keeps your wheels 
going down the road. And if you do make a turn, it will kind of spring it back so that you're going straight. A steering stabilizer will help you if you have a front tire blowout. It will help you when a truck passes and you have the wind pushing. It will help you retain control of your motorhome or your camper. It keeps you stable going down the road. And it will help you if something happens to you like happened to me the other day and a big wind comes and hits you on the side, it will help keep you in your lane. Now they make them for all different sizes. Safety Plus, which makes mine, makes stabilizers for heavy duty trucks, buses, pickup trucks, SUVs, camper vans, Class C motorhomes, and even passenger cars. Now I went through a little bit of a learning curve with my steering stabilizer, so I'm gonna share that with you, so hopefully it won't be as much trouble for you as it was for me at first. But all right, so we're going straight, we're gonna let go and it just wants to change lanes. It just wants to go left. After I got my steering stabilizer installed, I took it for a test ride. 45 miles an hour. Seems to want to pull big time to the right. And I realized, oh my goodness, I should have gotten an alignment first because you really need to make sure that you are in perfect alignment before you get the steering stabilizer. You do need to get a professional installation, probably at an alignment shop. I had mine installed by a mobile RV tech. Whoever installs it, make sure they have experience. And even so, they likely will not get it right the first time. Prepare to go on a few test drives and allow time in your schedule for a return visit for an adjustment. I would not recommend using a mobile RV tech unless they've had experience installing steering stabilizers. Luckily, mine had installed several previously and usually got it right the first time. He ended up adjusting mine three times and it still wouldn't drive straight. If I let go of the steering wheel, it wants to steer right. Finally, I figured out I'd had a bad alignment. The original shop did not do a good job. I ended up going to a different place and getting another alignment. So I highly recommend you go to a really good shop, make sure that you're well aligned before you do a steering stabilizer. After that, it's a breeze. It has really helped me so much be safe on the road. Like I said, I have the safety steer. That's the one that is recommended for my chassis, a Freightliner chassis. You'll wanna do the research and make sure that that's the right one for you. Go to their website and check it out. There are other brands out there. So honestly, the best thing to do is go to the forum for your motorhome and see what they recommend. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share, and let me know of any wind safety tips I may have missed. As always, these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing.